Hi and welcome. This video is designed to help small charities fill in Section D of their 2017 Annual Information Statement. Your answers to questions in this section will appear on the public ACNC register unless the ACNC has approved a request from you that specific details be withheld from public view. So it's important that you get these questions right. And just to note, completion of this section is optional for basic religious charities and non-government schools. Section D covers charity finances and asks charities to complete questions requesting various financial details. The questions you'll be asked in Section D will vary depending on whether you're a small charity or a medium or large charity. The example in this how-to video is for a small charity, one with an annual revenue of less than $250,000. And the details you'll see in this video are based on a fictitious organisation. They don't belong to an actual charity. Before we start looking through Section D, the ACNC has prepared a wide range of support materials to help you through this section of the Annual Information Statement. Our 2017 Annual Information Statement Hub, accessible via www.acnc.gov.au forward slash 2017 AIS, contains links to our comprehensive 2017 Annual Information Statement Guide. The guide provides a detailed walkthrough for charities completing all parts of the Annual Information Statement, including Section D. Two other important reference points can also be accessed through the Hub. Clicking on the purple Complete the Checklist button takes you to our 2017 Annual Information Statement Checklist, a rundown of the information you need to know and the documents you should have on hand before starting work on your 2017 Annual Information Statement. And following this link within the checklist provides you with tips designed to reduce errors charities have commonly made in the past. It can be accessed through the checklist or via www.acnc.gov.au forward slash AIS 2017 avoid mistakes. Finally, we have extensive help text throughout the annual information statement form itself. It can be accessed by clicking on the help boxes scattered throughout the form. Okay, let's return to the top of section D and start work. When completing this part of their annual information statement, small charities should remember that they can submit a financial report, but doing so is optional. They don't need to have their financial reports reviewed or audited for ACNC purposes, and they can choose whether to use cash or accrual accounting. In fact, one of the first questions in Section D, right after the section where small charities need to indicate the date range that their financial reporting covers, asks if the charity used cash or accrual accounting. Cash accounting records the instances when money has changed hands, either when it is physically received or paid out. Accrual accounting records all transactions when income is earned or expenses are incurred, even if the payments haven't physically been made or received as yet. If you are unsure, or need more information, refer to the help and support resources available, then select Cash or Accrual. Next you'll be asked to fill out the Summary Income Statement and Balance Sheet Extract. Just a reminder, what you're seeing here on screen is the form as it would appear for a small charity. You should enter amounts for all the items that make up the total using Australian dollars. Round up or down to the nearest dollar and do not include cents. If the value is zero dollars, enter a zero. Include zeros to show thousands. Check that the totals you enter match the amounts in your financial statements. For guidance on each of these line items, read the 2017 Annual Information Statement Guide, or you can click the Help button next to each line. And when you've completed question 15b, it might be a good idea to double check your figures and then hit Save. Question 16 asks you to upload your financial report. Now, this is optional for small charities. A financial report generally includes statements for the reporting period, notes to the financial statements, responsible person's declarations about the statements and notes, that's known as responsible entities declaration, and reviewer's report or an auditor's report. If your charity prepares a financial report to provide to a state or territory regulator because it is an incorporated association, a cooperative or a charitable fundraising organisation, it can provide a copy of this financial report to the ACNC. We will accept this report as meeting our requirements for the 2017 reporting period. If you do wish to upload your financial report, choose your file from your computer, then click Attach. It might take a few moments for the file to attach. 
And this brings us to the end of Section D for Small Charities. Before you move on to the next page, we recommend that you click the Save button here. To move on to the next section, click the Next Page button here. For assistance with other parts of the Annual Information Statement, you can view the other videos in this series. As always, if you have any questions or need any specific assistance with the Annual Information Statement, you can call us on 132262 or email us at advice at acnc.gov.au. I hope this has been useful and thanks for watching.